How's it going everybody? It's Kevin here once again giving you another commentary today. Today we're talking about True Skill 2 and how it affects Halo 5's matchmaking and Halo games moving forward, potentially affecting Halo 6 slash Halo Genesis, whatever the title of that game is going to be. So this is not only just a video important for the current date of Halo 5, but also the potential future matchmaking coming to the next Halo game. Also just a quick note, if you guys enjoy these news commentary videos, please make sure to tap that like button because it greatly helps this video get some more notoriety so more people in the community are informed about the current state of matchmaking in Halo and potentially the next Halo game as well. So you're probably asking yourself, what the heck is True Skill 2? Well, True Skill 1 has been in Halo 5 since launch and it didn't necessarily do the best job of determining a player's skill. What True Skill 2 is going to do is take more into consideration players' abilities in other playlists and individual performance. So for new players, True Skill 2 has been improved to be able to figure out a player's true skill much faster than the previous setup. Being able to figure out a player's true skill early on allows a player to hop around to different playlists and have a better experience between those two as well, which I believe is super important. I don't feel like if you were able to rank your way up to Onyx in a certain playlist, you should be able to figure out, okay, well, this player can keep up with Onyx type players, why not put them against Onyx type players in a different playlist where they haven't earned their ranks yet rather than having to grind their way up as well. This is kind of help give you a nice little shortcut for the good players that kind of get to the higher end stuff and also help out with newer players to keep them in the proper location or proper ranks I should say. And also taking into consideration personal performance like kills and deaths and I'm sure assist as well. Pretty much just taking in kill, death and assist ratio which I think is going to be super important for matchmaking true skill because previously Halo 5's matchmaking was based on just wins and losses which is ultimately what the game is about yes but it's hard to individually suggest how good a player is strictly based on wins and losses because there was a lot more that goes into being a good Halo player than just winning the game. Personally if I felt that there was a bit of a skill stealing I'd constantly hit because a lot of times I would want to play solo team Slayer but get matched up, get matched up against full parties and lose. So if I truly wanted to rank up to say Onyx and above yeah I would have to get into a full party and play against other full parties. But this is what this new True Skill 2 will hopefully take in consideration. And I quote here from 343 is saying that True Skill will correctly take into account for the advantage of being in a fire team based on the fire team size and game mode, which allows us to match make fire teams more effectively. Our current data is showing that the skill of fire teams is now being estimated correctly and solo players are beating full parties when expected. While this means that a full party made up of top players might have to wait for another full party of top players, it should make life significantly more comfortable for high skilled solo players, which I am ex super excited about because that's my biggest issue when it comes to playing ranked solo is that you get matched up against parties and you get completely stomped, people quit out and it's just an instant loss and it's not fun to play. It really deters you from wanting to keep playing the game, grind up your ranks, and try to get better at the game when you realize that there is literally a skill ceiling of you have to be in a full party if you want to get into the high tier gameplay. With 343 experimenting with this new ranking system in game modes of social and warzone playlists, they've noticed a drastic increase of fair matches being moved towards like the 50% range of being like your chances of winning across this uh, this game mode right here, which means that players are finding more accurate, fair games to play. These matches have also seen a positive effect on quit rates, spread, and population value. So overall, this sounds rather amazing on paper. Like, yes, this is great. I love the fact about this. Like, I've been playing a lot of quick play, personally, and then I've noticed that the skill level has gone up quite a bit on my end, where most of the games I'm finishing with maybe like a 1 to 1.5 kill death ratio to breaking about even, which we would think would probably be the most fair way to play out uh, these matches. Though, it can have a negative effect with having such fair matches, which does sound bad, or does sound, doesn't make sense. But a lot of times what happens then, if you're a higher end player, you end up getting matched up against other high end players. And so then every game you're playing is like playing a sweaty game of MLG tryhard playlist. And sometimes you just kind of want to hop on and just play, man. And that's kind of one thing I've noticed with playing quick play, I'm not saying that I'm like a high school player or anything, but my kill death and assist ratio is around 5. And my kill death ratio is about 1.5. 
And I noticed that when playing Quick Play, every single game mode, I have to be like on top of my game at all times to just be able to be competitive, which it can be a bit of a drag on a player for a while there. I know some people in the community have been very, rather vocal about true skill being a little not fair to them. Um, I remember one player who on here on YouTube who likes to make montages was talking about how since true skill has been implemented, basically that he can't really get montage clips or struggles to find, find games. So it leads to people making more Smurf accounts so they can actually find games to play. Personally, I think these are some great changes coming to Halo 5's matchmaking and how these could also implement over to Halo 6 or the future Halo title as well. Because if this does work out well and we have good data to prove it, that we could definitely see the similar matchmaking system happening in Halo 6. So keep that in mind when testing this out. I'm going to jump in and play a bunch of Team Slayer and some other rank modes as well. So I'll give you guys my post patch experience and let you know whether or not uh, I've been finding more fair matches, how my gameplay has been playing out, and just having overall more fun with the game. I'm really looking forward to testing out this matchmaking uh, system and I'm looking forward to making more content and let you guys know how my experience has been. So if you want to stay up to date with that update video, <laughs> please make sure to tap that like button and subscribe to the channel as well because we'll be making more co Halo content on this channel continually because Halo is love, Halo is life, and so is this channel, right? Obviously. So leave in the comment section down below, guys, what you think about this new matchmaking system. Do you appreciate 343 trying to take in more individual skill and hopefully also help having solo players have matchup when they do match up against full parties that's a much more fair game do you think this matchmaking system should be implemented across all playlists or just rank and what has been your experience as well with this new matchmaking system let me, let me know in the comment section down below i do read all the comments and try to reply to most of them as well but anyways guys thank you so much for watching i greatly appreciate it i'll catch you all in the next video peace out